So initially, I, I run a mid-sized private duty agency in Sarasota, Florida, and one of my responsibilities is to make sure that we hire, you know, multiple caregivers each week to fill our needs. One of the struggles we have, like many people across the country, is that we can't find enough qualified individuals. And then once we find people who are qualified, we're not sure if they're the right fit for the type of service that we want to provide to our clients. Um, so we've, it's always sort of been hit or miss over the years. Um, we've used different types of tools. One of the things that occurred is when the owner of our agency, Michael Jassim, brought this to me, I kind of looked at it and was like, this is complete horse paper. I am totally not going to use this tool. Um, the questions are completely irrelevant to what I need to know. Um, I don't even care where they want to go on vacation. I want to know how much they want to work and how what a great job they want to do at work. So um, I completely was a naysayer. But he said, utilize a tool, gather some data, see what happens. Um, my admin, my HR assistant was also the same way. She said, you can't be serious. You really want me to add this to our hiring process? We're so busy. We have so much going on. Do we really have time to ask them about what their favorite movie is? So we did it though, begrudgingly. We started the process and we, everyone that we were going to bring on board with us, we brought them on board regardless of what they scored. After a couple of months, we found that the trend was everybody who scored red flamed on us right away. Like they either no call, no showed, they weren't reliable. There was some issue with them that made them not employable in a short matter of time. So we quickly identified that, you know, the reds are there. Um, the reds are in that range of not really who we're looking for, even though they meet all the hiring qualifications and they pass all the competency exams we give them. There's something about their personality that makes them really not a good fit for our industry. So then um, we changed it up a little bit after a few months. We took the data and we said, okay, so what we're going to do now is we'll still hire the people who were reds, um, but we're going to give them the test prior to hire. So we were giving it to them post hire, and we did prior to hire. So it made us more leery. What we found in our next round, our next bit of data that we gathered was that it was still consistent. Everyone who was red, even though they measured well, um, they still did not make it past their initial four to six weeks after hire. Um, going forward, what I then said was, okay, starting, I think it was in probably the end of September, beginning of October, I said, no more. If somebody is a red, we're not going to onboard them. Or if, you know, the HR assistants are saying, no, this is a really great candidate, they need to come through me for a third round interview and we need to figure out why they're not scoring well on this exam. But what we found is, is that it is an indica it is indicating to us who has the right personality to be the type of employee we want. Um, in speaking with other people who are considering using the system, I tell them that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody who is a green is going to make. What it is telling me is I know that everybody who's falling into those red categories is not going to make because not a single one of them has. So in using it, I completely was a skeptic. I did not believe that it was going to give me any good data. I thought it was going to completely waste my time's team, my team's time. And I thought that um, it would just be one more thing that human resource needed to keep up with that we didn't have time to do. Uh, but what we have now discovered is that not only is it a useful tool, it's a very strong predict predictor of what is going to happen. And even it's a predictor, like if I, I use it as a test, if someone scores in the red category and I ask them to follow up with me in two days and say, please come meet me in two days, I'd like to interview you a second time. It's even as a predictor telling me they're not showing up for that second interview no matter what, like I, it is almost dead on 100% of the time that they are not showing up for the interview, they're not showing up for orientation, that red indicator is, um, is, is basically been spot on for us. And the people who are scoring in the greens and who end up don't stay, um, those number, those percentages are quite low. Um, I would say 
probably one to two employees a month, score in the greens, go through orientation, start work, and they don't stay. There's less waste in my HR department now than there was six months ago. And that's because my team has a login, they print the report, they bring it to me, they show me this caregiver scored a 2.8, what do you want to do? And then we, we kind of delve into why they, why they scored so low. And you can even in the system see what they did to score low. I was skeptical and honestly everybody in my department was skeptical so that was just something that needed to evolve over time for us I mean we did it at the beginning begrudgingly and then as we as I saw that it was predicting accurately we really kind of expanded its function until now like it's the second part of the hiring process you go on indeed and apply you come in and fill out your electronic application and your Cintio survey and we print your application, your survey, and your Indeed resume, and those three things come to my desk before we move any further.